Bonuses are for when people do a good job, not for people who fail at their one and only job. And most organizations don't shower their employees with bonuses when they had their worst year in four decades. Well, someone forgot to tell the Bank of Canada that. The Bank of Canada handed out $20 million in bonuses in 2022. Now the Bank of Canada has one job, keep inflation low and around 2%. Inflation last year was almost 7%, a 40 year high. Didn't matter, bonuses anyway. $20 million in bonuses in 2022, $18 million in bonuses in 2021 and $16 million in bonuses in 2020. All told, the Bank of Canada handed out almost $72 million in bonuses and raises since the beginning of the pandemic and as inflation soared. But here's the craziest part of the entire story. The Bank of Canada itself admitted that it missed the mark on inflation, no duh, and that the organization should be held accountable but handing out big bonus checks to 80% of the workforce is a weird way to hold your organization accountable. So here's what has to happen. Conservative party leader, Pierre Poiliev, said that he would end the bonuses for failing government authorities like the Bank of Canada. Finance Minister Christia Freeland in her last budget said she would find more than a billion dollars in savings at the Crown Corporations. It's time to end the bonuses at failing Crown Corporations like the Bank of Canada.